All right, so let's move on to our final topic. And let's talk about Roxy Andrews and Vanjie are out here beefing with Oral Mayari. It just seems like every week we have a drag race story where the girls was fighting. You know, we had the Plain Jane, Bob the Drag Queen beef. We had Mistress Isabel Brooks, you know, um, reading her drag, her former drag children, uh, Sugar and Spice. Trixie Mattel going in on morphine. But I think, like, the Trixie and Morphine one wasn't really that much of a beef. And then also we had the one not too long ago, Eureka and um, Kim Chi. That was a ju that was a good one. And especially when she was talking about the the pus and the and the duct tape and on and the and the stinky drag outfits. That one still makes me heave. Anyway, um, so let's get to the story. So now it says that the beef started because of the recent episode that just aired. Episode four, where the queens were split into pairs for a group makeover challenge of four. They're very both flower fighters. Remember that? So during the challenge, Roxy Andrews and Miss Vanjie won. But apparently Ora Mayari and a couple of the fans did not like the fact that they won and thought that the Powerpuff Girls inspired looks presented by Plastic Tiara and Georges should have won. So hold on as I pull up the um the tweet from miss aura when i when i hear the aura aura why do i think of that song with um <laughs> lady gaga where she saw where the original name of the track was called burka but then they changed it but anyway so writing on x aura went so far as to say the season 11 and 14 queens deserve to have one saying no tea no shade but this group was the winner Performance tick, outfit tick, makeup tick, and I have I had to pause the video of um, Georges and Plastique with their makeover girl where they perform, and I do agree the choreography was good, the look was good, and I did like it. Now, in among the replies, pointed out that the list of people allowed to comment on who deserved to win did not include Aura, who triumphed in season 15's girl group challenge, was the doll herself, Roxy, saying, "No, we won because we were great, just as everyone else." she said but the exchange didn't stop there saying aura then reacted to a fan comment on her original tweet tagging roxy in the process the fan wrote that roxy and vanessa's win was for storyline purposes to which aura replied they all did good so whatever lol roxy andrews here you go sis i guess she was tagging to say like look i wasn't the only one that was saying it now, Roxy has a total of four challenge wins across her drag race career, then said, you're absolutely allowed to have your opinion. I just wanted to answer your question. And that was when things got really heated as Vanessa got involved about who's that? And as Roxy referring to Aura, she was on the show too. Now, some fans then weighed with ones um, saying, Vanessa need to stop letting this one win go to her head, to which the queen replied, right, and you weren't and you won't even win a hot dog eating contest, even if you were the only person to enter, dumbass. <laughs> now, to top it all off, Vanessa tweeted, if you know so much, why you ain't do good on your season? That's my question. Because Quartus was cute. You know, Aura was cute or whatever, but girl, you was so ba basic and boring on your season. You won one challenge, and then the next week, I think you got eliminated. Now the top of um and then it says that Roxy replied to that with I'm telling you LOL they know it all but the proof is in their seasons let me start a real show <laughs> shout I mean I'm laughing because it's true <laughs> now Aura addressed the situation saying why y'all think I'm coming for all these queens drag this is a makeover challenge I'm looking at the men they made over they all did great but I thought the guy that Jordan's and Plastique did looked the best and performed the best take a deep breath and don't exhale Ooh. she followed up with this drag race community is just mean and cruel the way you all go overboard and just straight up nasty Roxy and Vanessa, meanwhile, became front runners in the charity season after both being awarded a bonus bene benefactress badge at the start and winning the episode. They're currently tied with Got Mick for the lead. Well, don't worry, because I believe this is the la that was the last time. The last time that Got Mick won her, her benefactress badge, that she ain't winning no more, from what I've heard. 
But I do think that Roxy will be making it all the way to the end because I've always said that. And they said that every other queen has one except Chanel who doesn't have any. And I will say this, it did feel, you know, this whole season so far, it does feel very much like participation trophy with the whole benefactress badge. See, now I can't even say it like benefactress because I feel like y'all took that from Simone. <laughs> of course, I'll, you know, Simone and the people, the queens do things on the show and Y'all just run with stuff. So now I can't even say benefactress regular. I got to say it like that. I own 51% of this benefactress badge. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Let me stop. So it was good because when I watched it, look, and she ain't the only one because I remember I watched the episode and I was like, really? I didn't say, I mean, I got that, that Miss Vandy because, you know, remember in the beginning, and I do think it's production doing what they doing. Vanjie did say, oh, yeah, it was nice that I was given a badge, which pretty much made Got Miller like a damn hypocrite. Because you was talking about, oh, y'all going to be clickish or whatever the case is to get badges. But then now you being clickish with Vanjie, which is proving the whole point of why you gave her the benefactress badge. So was it earned or was you just doing it because allegedly y'all was hunching off camera? Remember that that story we talked about for like two seconds on one of the episodes because I couldn't really elaborate. It wasn't nothing really big to talk about because Vanjie out here humping everybody damn leg. So I honestly do. I did think that Jordan's and 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 Plastique was gonna win, but remember she was like Miss Vanjie. She was like, oh well. You know, it was great that I got the bed benefactress badge, but I would like to win one by myself. It would be nice to win one on my own. And then all of a sudden, she went in the challenge because they put it in the thing. But I know they do the, the you know, the confessional interview thingy after the show was done. But it was good to interweave that in. Maybe they told it was scripted and they told them to say it, but I don't know. But, you know, for production purposes, they do things to move the story forward. So I actually thought she was going to win that. I was not expecting that they were going to win. And I was like, yeah, it's y'all were all great. But at the end of the day, it's like, oh, my gosh. It's just, it's, it is becoming like the, the Drag Race fandom has become toxic. I feel like the Drag Race fandom has become toxic. The queens be fighting amongst each other. And then the fans want to jump in on the situation. Y'all making shit worse. So it's just hard. But I'm here for it because y'all definitely helping my views. <laughs> Whenever I talk about these drag race beefs, you know, a lot of the, the, the viewers be watching, and I'm here for it. But you know what? I like Vanjie. Vanjie is a cackle. I like Roxy. She has definitely proven herself this season. I have not watched the episode that she was just on with Detox with Roscoe, you know, the Roscoe's episode. I definitely need to get around to that. But like I said, I've been so far behind on shows. So I definitely am going to try to see if I can watch that after the show. And once I can be something to eat, all the good stuff, because it is eight o'clock. In New York, and I did a four and a half hour show <laughs> today. So um, I say all this the same. I'm here for the drama, but y'all need to keep it on the internet. And we don't need this to be doing no, we don't need the toxic fandom. We don't need all this other stuff. People should be allowed to have their opinions without people getting all up in their feelings. But you know what? If, 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 um, or is going to be out here giving opinions about things that she was on Drag Race, you can't tell, you can't, you know, Poke the bear and, and, and tell him how to, I say it all the time, you cannot poke a bear and tell it how to attack you. You can't control that. So if you're going to come out here and be reading things or try to set it over like a backhanded compliment, oh, everybody did great, but dot, 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 and then throw in the read and the shade, you can't get mad when Vanjie come at you because, you know, Vanjie a hood rat. So she going to come up in there. She going to drag you down to the floor, say something shady. She, uh, and then Roxy going to take more of the, you know, she tries to be mis she tries to be a little congenial about it. But you can't read the dog. She going to read you back. So let me know what you guys think of this beef down below. I'm just like, at this point, we just go, I'm just sitting back waiting to see who, what's the beef going to be next week. Because every time I'm doing a show, there's always a drag race beef. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below.